Okay, so basically what my robot does is it drives around and it makes a map of all of the obstacles that are in its way, or not in its way, just all of them. And yeah, at the moment I don't have a program where it can drive anywhere autonomously, so I have it hard coded in to drive like a zigzag like this. Um, but yeah, it maps everything. So as it drives, it records where the objects are and then stores those objects? Yeah. And how does it store them? I have a series of four arrays because Basic X doesn't have array lists. Okay. So, uh, four arrays. Excellent. So, show us, um, okay. show us the object. Um, my printout is over here if you want to come around. Mm -hmm. But let, let's say it run first and then we'll pretend it print it out. I'm sorry, I did that. I moved the block. That might not have worked because I hit the block, but still might have. So, we test it. Um, so yeah. then, so then you just run it again and download the data. Yeah, it did actually work. Okay. Um, you don't actually run it again. There's a 10 second delay before it retrieves oh, the data. Very clever. Okay, so, so the X's then are the four blocks. The clear areas are the places you've been, and the question marks are the places you have not been. Exactly. Uh, that's great. That's really cool. So what I what I recommend that you do is you you hide like some treasure in one of these squares, and then you tell the robot, you know, to go find the treasure. Okay. But how will it know the difference between an X and a treasure? It it no. Oh, I see. Well, we could just tell it which square it is, and then yeah, when it finds something in that square, it can say that it found it. Or you put a candle in the room. You know, that candle is yeah. the treasure. Yeah. Well, nice, nice job.